Hey guys, what's up? John from flyatmikealpha.com and today we're going to be talking about surface analysis charts and prog charts, prognostic charts. So where are all the frontal lines now? Where are they going? And what kind of pressure differentials are we going to see around the country now and in the coming days? And ultimately, what does that mean for us flying airplanes as pilots? So we'll start off with the surface analysis chart here. And the surface analysis chart is just showing us the latest observation. And this is valid at 2100 Zulu on the 5th of December and showing us what's going on with where all the fronts are at the current time, roughly at the current time. It's a little out of date, of course. Now, since this is just an observation, it's instantly out of date as soon as they put it out. So they put it out just a little bit after the valid time. This is an observation of what was going on at the valid time. And they put these surface analysis charts out every three hours. So they issue a new one every three hours. And what's cool about this is obviously there's the legend down here at the bottom that tells us what's going on. So we can see we have a cold front. We have a little bit of a tiny bit of a warm front pushing back there. We have a trough aloft here. Same thing, trough aloft around here. We have a stationary front with the warm front and cold front pushing against each other. Centers of low pressure, centers of high pressure. Our isobar lines, those isobar lines are drawn every four millibars. So this is 1024, 1020, 1016, and so on. And then we have these uh, numbers here, which are basically the pressure in the center. So 1043 millibars at the center of that high, 1042 there. And we can see as we move through these actual isobar lines, it's just every four millibars for each line. We have these purple ones here, these, this purple front, and that's an occluded front. You can see how it's getting kind of wrapped up there. And why it's wrapped up like that is because an occluded front, in the simplest terms, is just a front overtaking another front, as we learned about in lesson 13. So ultimately, we see what's going on right now, but this is really a helpful device, helpful product to help you plan out what's going to be happening in the future. So obviously down around Florida, we have moisture. Down in the southeastern United States, we have heat and moisture. It's been warm lately. We have a cold front coming through. Probably going to be making some pretty good thunderstorms because that cold air is coming through, picking up more moist air and making some good rain, good thunderstorms. Let's check 12 hours out. We can see this becomes valid at 0600 Zulu on the 6th of December. So at 1 a.m. tonight, we can see, yeah, sure enough, we've got some pretty good rain going on, some pretty severe weather in this area here, heavy rain and thunderstorms with those red lines and the cross hatching there along this cold front as it pushes its way through down into Florida. We can see the low pressure up here in the trough aloft contributing to picking up moisture off the lakes and creating all sorts of lake effect snow up in the uh, northern Michigan area, Wisconsin and Minnesota area. We can see this cold front here. There's, of course, weather usually associated with fronts, and there's some snow associated with that. We've got this trough aloft here contributing to picking up some moisture and creating ice and snow and rain all along this area. And then we have some high pressures here pushing through, bringing in nice cold, clear air and pushing out bad weather coming in from the northwest, as most high pressures usually do. If we go ahead and start fast forwarding here a few hours at a time, we can see how the high pressures come in from the northwest and push their way through and how the fronts push their way through and usually push out bad weather with it. So we can see how the rain here in Florida starts to clear up after the front moves through. Yet due to that truffle off there, we can see just 60 hours out, there's still some rain around Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. It's probably going to persist even though the front's pushed its way through. That rain will probably persist due to that trough aloft persisting and continually picking up moisture. Plus, we have this stationary front here that's really not doing a whole heck of a lot. And when you have a stationary front and it's not moving, well, things tend to just pretty much stay the same and the weather doesn't change much either. So obviously on the three-day and four-day outlook, five-day outlook, they don't show the projected precipitation because we know with aviation forecasts, they're really not that good that far out. Despite AccuWeather showing a 45-day forecast on their website, you just can't predict the weather accurately more than just a few days out, really even a few hours out. So ultimately what we're looking at here, guys, to sum this up, we've got low pressures, high pressures, isobar lines, those lines are drawn every four millibars, Troughs aloft are our orange lines here. Warm fronts, cold fronts, and occluded fronts are the purple. Weather is typically going to be associated along a frontal line. Nasty, severe weather typically associated along the front of a cold front. So when we have cold fronts pushing through the southeastern United States or across the uh, eastern part of the United States where there's lots of warmth and moisture, 
as that front marches on through, it will start to produce lots of rain along the frontal line, a lot of severe thunderstorms, create a thunderstorm or a squall line, march across the United States, create lots of severe weather for us. Other things is a warm fronts in the wintertime tend to create icing conditions, all sorts of things. Really pay attention to that frontal lesson we had in our private pilot ground school online at flyatmikeleffel.com. Lesson 13 had a lot of information about fronts in it and what kind of weather you can expect with each type of front. If you have any questions on this particular chart, on the surface analysis chart or prognostic charts, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, keep our latest videos. Check out our totally free online private pilot ground school at flyatmikealpha.com along with all our other really helpful courses like weather explained, spin awareness, crosswind landings, instrument pilot ground school, commercial pilot ground school, commercial pilot check ride prep, all sorts of great stuff, all online there at flyatmikealpha.com. Check out our Patreon page, support us on Patreon, greatly appreciate everything you guys do for us on there. It really helps keep this a totally free online resource for everyone. And as always, guys, if you can't fly every day, then fly8mikealpha.com. We will see y'all next time. <laughs>